Hello, Michelle with Crafty Servings. We're going to make a cute little shelf sitter with a little panel. So these are crafter panels, uh, crafter square canvas panels um, that you get at Dollar Tree. So I hope you come on. It's going to be cute and little. Say hi when you come on. Let me know you're out there. Say hi to Cash. Cash loves his hello right at the beginning. These come in two, two panels. And again, you get them at Dollar Tree. So you get two of them. Hi, Carla. Hello, Kathy. So we're going to use um, this one actually. It's plastic on yet. Yeah, we'll use this one. And we're going to put a napkin on. We're going to add a little decoration. It's going to be cute, simple, sort of quick. And Mr. Cash went to go lay down. All right. I'm just going to put Mod Podge. We're going to use the iron method on here. And put a good coat of Mod Podge on and then we'll dry it up and I'll show you the napkins we're using. The napkins are actually in that napkin bundle that I have in my Etsy shop that that anchor napkin was in. Same, same bundle. In a good coat. We're going to dry it up and like I said, we're using iron method today. I love using that method. Just quick and easy. Just get a nice coat. Most of the big wrinkles out of it. Make sure you get the ends. Now on this one, honestly, the napkin's not going to go up to the ends, but it will go to the sides. I'm just using the matte Mod Podge. I like that. Hi, Licia. Um, thank, thank you. I appreciate y'all coming on here. And you're very welcome. This is my calm. I love doing this. We all need some calm these days. All right, I'm just going to dry this up now. And then we're going to put that napkin on. Honestly, this, like I said, this is going to be a quick and simple. We're going to make it a little bit cute with a little bit of embellishment on it. Let's get this away from my microphone. You did make it. So I'm just drying this up, but I want it nice and dry before we put that napkin on. All right. Okay. Nice dry. All right. You want to see the napkin we're using? This is also in the napkin bundle. And we're just going to use one square of it. And it's going to be in the center. And then we're going to decorate. I actually thought of something else I could do on it too, but um, I don't have the, what I want here then. Actually, that would be really cute. I'll tell you when I'm doing it. All right, I'm just trying to get this separated. I believe it might be three ply. Should look at it. Just grab a piece of tape. Thanks for the thumbs up. All right, I'm just gonna see. Put a piece of tape on here. See if it's another ply. Actually, maybe it isn't. I do think it is. Let's let's read the directions. Three ply. And I know I only peeled off one ply. There's another ply on here. We're going to get it off. There we go. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It actually, it has more of the Flintstones on the back too. All right, so we're just going to use the one panel of that. I mean, if you do larger, you could do all four, but you'd have to probably cut it apart and sort of pattern it on because 
it's very similar so it would look like it's a pattern if you want to get away from that then cut it apart and do what you need to do all right so this is going to go on um, I'm trying to think yeah I'm going to have it sideways you see my fan is going I'm going to put that on there like that Let's grab a little parchment paper hello Dana Sophia. I think a lot of us like sunflowers and this is this is honestly like I said simple easy quick I'm going to center this on here oh I should turn my iron on I'll just take a minute to heat up and then we're going to decorate on it Be simple and we're going to be able to you can either put it as a shelf sitter like in a little tear tray you just add a little cork or something on the back um, or you can hang it on a wall It's the perfect size for, for on here too. All right, we're just gonna like get this heated up a second and then we'll iron it on and we'll do some decorating. All right. Okay, let's, um, I'm just gonna iron this on. I hope you can do it on canvas. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to do it a little more. The other way I did have where I was going to do it and put it on while it was wet, and then I had the little stipple brush from Dollar Tree, but I love this way. <gasps> a star party. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that shimmer paint was so pretty. I did, like I said, try it on a little bit of a napkin, but... um. And actually, because that Mod Podge gave a little shimmer, I mean, you can't really see it. There is a little glare on there, but isn't this pretty? Just pretty. All right. Now, I am going to be stepping on spraying this, but there's one more thing I want to do, and I just got to let it cool just a minute. So... I'm going to add more decoration to this also, but I'm just going to add a little stamping to this just to add a little cuteness. You don't have to do that, but um, I'm just going to add a little bit of words on here. So um, I've got these stamp and thin cards. I love the words on here. It's you are my sunshine. And that's what we're going to stamp on here in a couple of places. All right, and we're going to use You Are My Sunshine. And you just peel it off very carefully so that you don't tear it. And place it on here. And I don't think I want it real bright. It'll probably, um, if I put it on, well, I could turn it upside down. I like putting it on the bottom edge for some reason, but I have to have it make sure sunshine is on the bottom and not on the top. And I'm just eyeballing it with, with that. Okay, so when you can see through now, so you can see exactly where you're gonna place it. I'm gonna do it in several places. It's just gonna add a little cuteness. You don't have to do this stuff. And I wanna do it before I add the sealer on top. Um, I just think it'll, it'll soak a little into the napkin, which is okay. You ordered these, Paula? Um, okay, so this is New England Ivy stamp color I'm using, one of my favorite colors, actually. And when you get stamps, if they're new, you want to condition them just a little bit. If you put it on and then just sort of, here, can you see that? You just sort of, squish it around on a piece of paper and it just gets that stamp more in condition to, to use once you do it once on it you won't have to do it anymore okay and the other thing is I always have a little piece of paper towel that's a big piece and make sure if you get extra ink on before you stamp you want to do it 
Now I'm also going to, because I don't think I want that bright You Are My Sunshine on there, or maybe I want one of them, but the rest I want a little bit lighter. So we'll see, we're gonna play with it and see what it looks like. So by doing it lighter, you do it on a surface here and then you do it on here. So I'm just gonna get that on. Get enough, again, I don't want, I wanna make sure if I got any on my block to get that off of there. And this first one I'm gonna do a little bit, um, I mean, I will do it the dark. And then I'll show you I just is that cute so now um, let me do I could just have done that right away but I'm gonna do it once on the paper and then once on here and you'll see it's just a light just light on there so we're gonna do that again I think I'm gonna put it down over here it just adds some cuteness but um you know you this is a step you don't have to do again just like with magnolia i do the magnolia stencils also it just seems to add a little cuteness for me but it's something that you don't have to do that's just really can you see that real subtle in that bottom sunflower it just adds that little bit and I think really that's all I'm going to do one more up here hi Louise from Sweden what is the time in Sweden I'm so bad at getting ink on places in the block so if you do order stamps from me make sure you order you do need acrylic block. Now there's some that are a lot bigger than this, but you need one that's gonna fit the stamp. So if you order a bigger one, at least it'll fit most of your stamps. So smaller won't work because that rubber has to be um, completely on that acrylic block. But if you get a larger one and you put it on there, um, that works too. All right, let's just, we're gonna offset it on there once. And I'm gonna do one more here. And just have my little wet chamois here. Okay, you don't want to stretch it at all. You just peel it off, put it back on, and we're done with the stamp. Let me show you. It, it just adds cuteness. Again, you don't have to do it, um, but it, it adds. It adds. Look at this. Can you see that? That just adds something. It, it makes it look like it's almost part of this. All right, so I am going to step outside and seal this quick. I'm just going to use a clear acrylic sealer. If you want, you could Mod Podge over the top of it again. And I think I like the idea of just doing the spray, just a light spray. So it's just going to be a second. Well, because it's hot outside, I don't want to be out there long. No, pass. Okay. okay, I just did a, a light coat on there. All right. Let's decorate it and be done. Yeah, June, it just adds something. Well, and of course we have to add button, right? But we're going to add a little more than that. Okay, so we've got our jute here. I'm going to turn my iron off, get that out of my way, get my glue gun over here, make sure that's on, and now I'm going to put, I've got some little beads, we're going to, we're going to put a jute across the top and the bottom, and I've got these little beads, I also have some buttons picked out, so we'll show you. I'm just going to cut the end off of here. Now you could put, if you want, put a little bit dab of hot glue on here and squish it together. It keeps it together. 
um, to put through your beads. Another tip is if you twist it when you're going through your beads, that actually works pretty good too. If you twist it going through, that helps get them through. So I'm gonna do two on the top and two on the bottom. All right. So we're gonna do two on the top and two on the bottom. Um, they're gonna go on like this, but I'm gonna wrap it several times. See, so let's start. I'm just gonna start with my gluing my jute on here. D tape works too, Kim. Yes, it does. But sometimes the tape ends up creating a little much bulk, so I struggle with that sometimes too. But I have always used that too. That definitely helps too. Okay, so I I'm just going to put that on here, and I'm going to wrap it a couple more times. And we're going to do the same on the bottom. Add a little cute and we'll glue this and we'll do the same on the bottom. We'll add a button and we're gonna be done. So quick and easy. I'm gonna come on later with a magnolia, cute magnolia project too, when I figure out what it is. <laughs> Look at okay. that cute. All right, I've got to set this on something so it's not going to stick on my paper. And let's do this one. Thank you, Sue. It's so quick and easy, right? And like I said, this napkin is in my napkin bundles along with that anchor that I did the other day. Um, you can see that back there. That napkin's in that same bundle. So um, they are out in my Etsy shop. Okay. I'll just do two on this one also. Now, this one I have it on the bottom, or I should say on the bottom. So now this one I'm going to have on this side and have it on the top. So that's where we're going to put it. Just quick and simple and easy. These panels are from Dollar Tree. Um, two of them in a pack so and for a dollar and a quarter I was gonna say so 50 cents a piece a little more than 50 cents a piece okay this one we're gonna put around like this just cute 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 wrap it around okay I want to make sure I stay under that one now I love that anchor too that I think has been, I'm not a nautical person, okay? I am not. But I think that's been my favorite Dollar Tree project that I have ever done. Um, has everybody seen that on here? I can grab it if you didn't. It's right behind me. But I really believe that is my favorite. Okay, look at how cute that is. Look at how cute. Now, I did go out, um, a while ago I posted a link for buttons that I went out and got from um, Amazon. If you want the link, let me know, but I got them, and I mean, they are just, they're so cute. I know you can't see them all in here. They're just so cute. So the one I picked out that I thought would work, and I've got two different ones. I've also have for my favorite, but my thought look at this one my thought would be to put that one right there and it just adds that little bit of 3d the other one I had picked out otherwise is uh, just a regular tone one which that would work too honestly let me just so that one would work also to put on there but so you like the one with the red on it i think so too these will slide you can actually slide them the way you want what do you think 
I got my Yabadoo. I should do it because if I take a part of the video, I should do it on this side and cover up my Yabadoo. All right, isn't that? Yeah, the button just really adds to it. It really, really adds. I love it. So, oh, Rita, I missed what it said. All right, so thanks for coming on. So, y'all have a good one.